Have you ever thought about what might happen if the electricity went out everywhere? Just imagine William Gilbert, Thomas Edison, or whoever you believe invented electricity swiftly went down from heaven and declared, We shall take back our precious discovery and allow you to feel the darkness and misery. Then suddenly, the world turned pitch black and you could no longer see the pathway. You couldn't charge your phone anymore or eat ice cream in your refrigerator. How would you feel? Scared, right? That's because whether we like to admit it or not, electricity has been a great help in our everyday lives when it comes to finishing tasks, doing chores, and more. It provided us with unspeakable benefits that we can't afford to ignore. So, losing it unexpectedly will leave us devastated. However, not only humans will suffer from the loss of electricity, because our fish and pets will also be affected. If you're a fish keeper like me, stick around in this video until the end because today I'll teach you ways that you can survive a fish tank power outage. We will unravel what could happen in a tank during the loss of electricity and how you can be ready whenever such an incident happens. All of that and other info is only here at Aquarium Store Depot. A fish tank's power outage is our hobby's most dreadful situation. Most pets we know, by far the majority, will not be impacted by a power outage. If things go wrong, a cat will cheerfully hunt for food, while a dog will continue to be your buddy. Both creatures remain free to roam about their environment in these situations. However, the living creatures in your aquarium do not enjoy this opportunity. Their underwater world is a confined environment for them. Your aquarium's atmosphere must be steady for anything to function. The system is entirely out of balance when the electricity goes off. Water is moved and oxygenated using air pumps and wave makers. Your bacterial colonies are maintained by your power filters and sump, which also keep the nitrogen cycle in balance. Do you want to know more about the impact that power outages can have? Let's talk about the following. First, let us discuss what can go wrong with the oxygen levels. When there's a power outage, this is your main worry. The first component of your aquarium's ecosystem to diminish is oxygen. Once your air pumps, wave makers, and return pumps stop operating, it becomes a race to maintain oxygen levels. Your oxygen levels will start dropping, and everything will suffocate after a few hours of no water flow. Very quickly, things could get nasty. Second is everything about the temperature. The next killer is temperature changes. We can refer to this as the long-term killer when power outages linger for several days. Your climate will determine whether the tank stays cool or overheats. Commonly, animals kept in aquariums can endure longer periods of colder weather, so cold weather is neither difficult nor impossible to cope with. They'll stall out or become dormant. When the electricity is turned back on, corals and fish reappear after experiencing low 60s temperatures for many days in reef tanks. An additional factor is heat. It makes sense since large-scale bleaching events occur in our seas when temperatures rise by just a few degrees. Fish from freshwater are the same in this regard. Aquatic creatures die quickly from heat, and a power outage is not necessary either. Your fish tank is in danger due to a broken AC unit and temperatures over 85 degrees in your apartment or house. Lastly, there are the ammonia spikes. There will be dramatic increases in ammonia levels as animals begin to perish. Your bacteria colonies will be overwhelmed by the rise of ammonia, which will be detrimental to them because of the outage. It will occur in a domino-like fashion. Everything will start dying swiftly once anything does, and you know, it's not something we want to see in our tank. All these, once the electricity goes out, will be affected. If you own a tropical fish, you should know that the absence of a heater could cause them to die. It would be best if you took action by trying to keep your tank warm during a power outage. Most fish should be able to survive mid-60 degree temperatures in the short term. Just take the steps needed to keep your tank as warm as possible. But you won't have to worry about anything because there is gear you can use to save your fish when an unexpected power outage occurs. Before we get into the five most essential pieces of equipment on the list, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for your regular updates of information on the fish keeping hobby. Now for the part you have been waiting for. Let us review the gear you and your fish need before disaster strikes. Number one on this list is generators. An electromechanical device called an electric generator converts mechanical energy into electricity. It works by using a technique known as electromagnetic induction. 
Generators are the best option for an extended period without electricity. The truth is that an old school generator will get you through the worst power outages, even though many aquarium shops and retailers don't want to talk about them, since they want to sell you their aquarium based solution. I am aware of enthusiasts in the fish keeping industry who have a complete home generator since they have so much invested in their tanks. However, many people cannot afford them as they're so expensive. They're powered by gasoline, which you may buy at a gas station or take from your car. Your day should last around half a tank full. As part of your disaster planning efforts, consider acquiring one for your home if you still need one for your aquarium. If you want to be a fish keeping champion and not spend a fortune, I suggest you buy the Champion Generator which will work for large tanks and get you through longer outages. The second option you can opt for is the Dr. Sochting's Oxidator. For years, one of the finest hidden weapons against power outages was having an Oxidator for your tank. This incredible piece of machinery operates without electricity. Hydrogen peroxide and a catalyst are used to make it work. The chemical process purges ammonia from your aquarium and produces oxygen. During the outage, this may replace your biological filtration and maintain an entire oxygen tank. They work best during prolonged power outages since they don't need electricity. Because it's easy to acquire the solution in large quantities and stock up, the hydrogen peroxide will last for 5 to 7 days. The biggest challenge with the oxidator is purchasing it. The easiest way to order them is via eBay. There aren't vendors at the recording of this video that ship these fast, so order now so you aren't waiting for it. They can be deployed the moment an outage occurs, or you can just keep one in your tank at all times. A car inverter is the third piece of equipment you can consider having for a power outage. This is another out-of-the-box approach to traditional aquarium-based solutions. It is also far more effective than what other shops will have you believe. The DC voltages in your car's battery are converted to AC electricity for your gadgets via a car inverter. To keep your battery charged, you may leave your automobile running. This is another long-term and portable answer, because your automobile relies on gasoline. If you have many vehicles, it is simple to swap between them when you need to use the power. And if you run out of gas, you can visit a gas station to buy more. For this kind of equipment, buy an Ampeak car inverter, which works on cars and is helpful for long-term outages. Going fourth on the list are battery air pumps. For smaller tanks, battery-powered air pumps are perfect. These are incredibly inexpensive to buy and only need C or D batteries. These are among the more straightforward options to consider while dealing with a power outage. The batteries typically last between 8 to 12 hours. There needs to be one of these in every aquarium. In an emergency, they are indeed instrumental. For the solution, I would suggest that you purchase the Penplax Silent Air. It is a good air pump driven by batteries with a runtime of 6 to 8 hours on D batteries. This is a fantastic solution to safeguard your aquarium from power interruptions. And last but surely not least, having a battery backup is a must. This is the most frequent answer merchants will give you. Since these battery backup solutions are made by those who make aquarium equipment, it makes sense. People will also consider alternative solutions, such as an uninterruptible power supply. Though they have the drawback of not being made to run aquarium equipment for extended periods, these will supply you with electricity for a few hours. Using the backups created by companies that provide aquarium equipment is preferable. However, prolonged power outages cannot be handled by battery backups. If I were you, to keep my task running, I'd like to use a generator and an oxygenator together as go-tos to make your life easier. All this equipment benefits you and your fish, so always have at least one on hand to prepare yourself for any possible situation. But hold up! There are still more things that you should know. Let's assume you're watching this video on your phone while lacking the necessary tools and attempting to figure out what to do. Here's the most straightforward technique to survive a power outage without equipment. Are you familiar with the term aerate? Yep, that's right. This word means to utilize air to furnish or impregnate something. Equipment is great when the power is working. Let's talk about low tech ways how to keep your tank running during a power outage. The first way is by low-tech oxygen. For you to execute this, you must follow these steps on your screen. The second way is by keeping your water warm. If you want to try this out, you must follow the process shown on your screen now. And the last possible method is keeping your water cool. This method is easy to follow. You can screenshot these steps so you'll remember them later. 
Can you imagine how hard it is for your fish if the electricity suddenly disappears? It is extremely stressful and sometimes deadly. Having a plan and the right equipment is key. I know it's tough, and I know it's heartbreaking to experience a power outage tragedy. Fish can even pass away in a blink if you don't respond appropriately. So, if you have an aquarium, invest in the necessary tools, like battery-powered air pumps or a generator. We encourage you to invest in the gear we featured, because if you don't have backup equipment, it may only take two hours for your fish to suffocate from the lack of oxygen in their tank. Your beloved pets might die shortly after the power goes off if you don't invest in a power outage solution. And we don't want that to happen because at Aquarium Store Depot, we want you and your fish to always be well. If you have a power outage experience, share your experience with us in the comment section below. Feel free to raise questions about this video and we'll try to respond right away. You can also visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com if you want to read more blogs about the fish keeping hobby. Thank you for watching, fish keepers. I hope that you always provide the best care for your fish. See you around on our next video.